Hi guys, James at Rampant Lion Reviews again for you today with another beer review. So for this one we are going to continue on with this kind of North of England mini-series that I had planned for you. So today we're going to go to a little town called Morpeth, maybe about half an hour or so to the north of Newcastle upon Tyne. And we've got a brewery who apparently are very highly rated. This is Anarchy Brew Company and we're going to have a taste of their smoke beer today which is called Smoke Bomb. Now if you've watched my channel for any length of time you will know that I have a particular fondness of smoke beers. I mean my love of craft beer really started with the Bamberg Rauch beers. I went over there to visit my friend and we were drinking Spezial and Schlenkerla and all of these beautiful beers. So it's a beer style that has really stuck with me and there's some real gems all throughout the world. There's Japanese smoke beers, French ones, German ones of course and you get smoke beers all over the place. It's a really awesome beer style and this is actually the first English one that I'm trying so I'm very interested to try this and it's always cool to try kind of these lesser known English breweries as well because they're very difficult to find in Scotland and some of you might find that a bit hard to believe but I've never ever seen one of these beers up in Scotland before. So I'm very interested to do this review for you today. And for this video as well, I have to give a shout out to the guys at Mm and Glug, which is a nice little gourmet beer and food shop in the Granger Market, which is close to Newcastle train station. Do go and check those guys out. They were very nice and picked out all of these beers for me. So a big thank to them there. Check out their Facebook link in the description below. And they won't, se they won't send you the wrong way when it comes to craft beer. They had Belgians, Germans, and of course, a lot of local stuff too. So do check them out. But anyway, as is usual with my beer reviews then, I'll tell you a little bit about the brewery. If you do want to get straight to the tasting, just fast forward. All the usual websites are in the video description below. That's the brewery website, the link to my future reviews that I'll do from Anarchy Brew Company. And there's all the usual social media things, Facebook, Twitter and Untapped. So please support me on there. It would be much appreciated. And if you want to see more beer reviews, do subscribe to the channel. And don't be scared to suggest some beers for me, especially those of you guys in the north of England. I'm always really interested to try beers from you places, of course. But Anyway, to tell you about Anarchy Brew Company, so these guys were founded back in January of 2012 by Simon and Don Miles in Morpeth, like I said, about half an hour or so to the north of Newcastle upon Tyne. But originally the brewery was called Brew Star, and this was taken from the old tradition of putting a six-pointed brewer star on the end of beer barrels. And each of the points of the star was supposed to represent a different element of the brewing process. So one point was hops, the other was water, grain, malt, yeast, and also the brewer as well. And a famous example of this is actually the red star that you find on Newcastle Brown Ale and the company unfortunately had to change their name after only eight months of existence and this was because of a proposed legal challenge from Brewster's Brewing in Lincolnshire so they decided to rename themselves Anarchy Brew Company to sort of match their, their, their kind of innovative and quite experimental brewing philosophy if you like but it's a bit of a shame for them because they were on the cusp of becoming really quite big at that time They'd gone out, the, their beers had gone down very very well and um, Brewster of course is an old Scottish surname so there is Brewstar and then Brewster so it is kind of similar but they were told by their lawyer that it was 50-50 whether they would win the case so they decided to save their money and just rename themselves and of course it hasn't affected them too much their beers are still very highly regarded but today their brewery, the brewery is based in White House Farm which is just outside of Morpeth and their beers are quite widely available on cask in the northeast of England I think I've seen them in Edinburgh and Glasgow on cask as well I never tried them right enough but they're also quite widely available in bottles and their, their distribution of course is starting to expand as the brewery itself expands Bands, but they're very highly rated from what the guys in Glug told me so you do need to check out some of their beers. Just to list some of the core range beers for you, they've got the Blonde Star, Citra Star, Straight Jacket, Cascade, Sublime Chaos which my friend tried and said was really nice, there was Quiet Riot, Anarchy Lager, Urban Assault, Scorched Earth, Mistaken Identity, Hard Times, Antichrist which is supposed to be a very nice black IPA, Knuckle Dragger, Dun Time, Crime Scene, Anti Venom which apparently is very good as well, Warhead, Smoke Bomb which is this guy here and there's also the Christmas Chaos too. So as you can tell they've got quite a wide range of core beers so do check out the link to the brewery in the description below and you can get an idea of all the different things that they do. But anyway, let's actually go on to the tasting of this beer itself. So this one is a 3.9% dark smoked beer. It says on the side here, take Bavarian smoked ham and smooth toffee and you've got something as called a smoke bomb. It says 1.3 UK units, 76 IBU. So this one should be really quite nice. I'll just let you have a look at the artwork before we open this pardon me, we'll open this guy up. Really quite nicely presented actually, I have to admit, I do quite like it when some of these beer companies can do quite nice modern art. You can see all the kind of newspaper cuttings on the side here. But it looks really nice, very nicely presented, plain black bottle cap on this one. It would be really cool if they put the A on this on the black background. <coughs> pardon me. 
that would be a very cool addition to their beers so hopefully they can do that in the future but let's get on with the tasting here and see how this guy turns out as i've told you i do love smoked beers so very much looking forward to this one nope this guy doesn't want to open but as you can see a nice smoky opening on this and we'll get it out and into the glass i'm not sure if maybe some of the north of england um, beer reviewers like Rob Hopsin and Stuart Picard from Ginger Real Ale Trail. Maybe they've, they've tried some more of these beers, so you might want to go and check out their channels. They produce some quite interesting beer reviews, but this is the very first time I'm trying this brewery, so I'm quite excited for it. So, as you can see, this beer has poured a really nice, it's actually a kind of reddish, coppery colour. I'll just let you see it with the light here. Just turn this guy on. You can see it's a kind of reddish, coppery brown colour. There's a quarter finger of a frothy kind of creamy coloured head on this one, looks very very nice but there's not much in the way of visible carbonation, some big bubbles sticking towards the side of the glass, quite a few little ones just going up towards the bottom of the head there but it looks like a typical German Rauch beer, it's got the right colour, the right kind of head and the right looking carbonation too so very interested to see what this guy actually tastes like so let's give it a smell and see how we get on. This is quite interesting actually. Usually the German Rauch beers smell quite meaty, if you like. This guy has a good combination of meat and also of peat as well. It's got a little bit of that more earthy and slightly acidic smoky character to it. Some of the, A lot of the Scottish smoked beers actually have that kind of grassy, earthy smoke character to them. And this one has it as well, but it's got a bit more meaty character than some of the Scottish ones. So maybe it's going to be a combination of the two. This one should be quite interesting. But there's definitely some sweet caramel in there. Quite toasted, of course, which is what you would expect. And there's a nice bready malt base, but there's a good earthy hop, I think, to this one coming out as well. Maybe a little bit of grassiness too, but that's maybe, it mixes quite well. The sort of peaty smokiness that I was talking about comes out in this one, and that's where a lot of these grassy and earthy notes are coming out. So quite an interesting one. The caramel is quite subtle. Maybe there's a little bit of cereal in there too. You can definitely get a little bit of a kind of biscuity, syrupy malt sweetness out of this beer as well. So it's quite an interesting smoked one. So I would say give this guy a good smell before you actually get stuck into it. But we'll see how this guy turns out. So this is the Smoke Bomb from Anarchy Brew Company in Morpeth. And I think that's Northumberland in the north of England. Slangia. Now that's interesting. This is very, very light. So as I always say with these kind of beers, especially the dark ones, sugar it around your palate and just let the whole mouth adjust before you start to dissect the flavour of this one too much. But this is quite interesting. It actually leans more towards the kind of peaty malt character, this one, and the meatiness, I think. And I've reviewed maybe maybe reviewed about 30 or 40 different Rauch beers on the channel now, so it's always interesting to see the different interpretations of the style, but for me, this one leans more towards the kind of peaty smoked character than the, than the, than the meaty smoked character, I would say. But yeah, I would definitely stick with that. The middle of your palate is blanketed with this really uh, quite light just sprinkling of doughy bread there. That just goes right across the middle of your tongue. And on top of that, you get these quite smoky, almost earthy characteristics. And they just, they just come across as very ashy. You've got this kind of drying sensation on the middle of your palate there. It's definitely more of a, a kind of peaty smoke character that's in this beer. There's no question about that. There is a bit of sweet caramel in there too, you can feel that just going down the middle of your palate. Overall, the mouthfeel on this beer is very wet and in comparison to the German smoked beers that I've come across, this guy is very light in the mouthfeel. It actually reminds me of some of the French beers that I've come across. The French beers were always quite full of flavour, but they were just very light in the mouthfeel. This one has a very similar feel to that. It's got quite a lot of flavour in it, more of, an, of a kind of peaty, smoky character to this one, like I say, but it's quite full of flavour. Yeah, I would stick with that. What's interesting for me about this one is that you're getting this peaty, earthy and quite grassy character in the middle of the palate. Usually you get the hops 
We usually get these sort of flavours from the hops and they go around the edge of your palate but to get these earthy and grassy characters in the middle of the palate is very very unusual but you do have them around the edge of the, the mouth too so in the very back corners of the palate you've got the nice earthy hop character coming out. It's quite dry actually and it builds a good bridge between the, the kind of ashy dry character that you're getting from the, the the smoked malts in this one. It builds a very good bridge between that. As you come further forward the dryness gradually fades and the hop character becomes more of a smooth grassiness so that's quite interesting too. Definitely German noble hops in this one. I would guess either Hallertau, maybe Tetnang actually because that's a bit closer. Maybe even Herzbrucker as well is another one that could be in here. We didn't see actually what the hop and malt profile of this beer was but it's quite it's definitely quite interesting it's always interesting to see the different interpretations of this style from across the world but this one reminds me a lot of the french smoke beers that i had mm. but yeah it's quite nice as i say a light bready character across the middle of the palate You've got a sweet bit of caramel that goes down the middle of the tongue but it's quite a peaty earthy character rather than a meaty one for me so that's a bit different from what they say on the bottle but regardless it is really quite nice actually I always enjoy smoke beers an interesting one. I had an interesting smoke beer from Iceland as well and this one reminds me a bit of that as well mm. Fenrir Tadri Tour from Borg Brughus up in Iceland that's another interesting one for you to try but this is really nice and the thing that's good about this is that it is quite sessionable. Usually some of these smoked beers, they're the sort of beers that you drink once to enjoy the taste of and then you don't try it again. But this one is subtle enough that you can maybe enjoy, you know, you could enjoy two or three of these and it wouldn't be it wouldn't be too much. This is definitely a dessert beer. Going by the flavour, it really is something that you would have with uh, you know with smoked pork or you know beef a steak or something it's a good kind of steak beer i would say as well so something just to bear in mind when you're actually trying to pair your beers but in terms of the mouthfeel of this one i would say light bodied actually very light bodied for a rauf beer i would say reminds me a lot of the french ones like i said carbonation is very smooth it just has a little bit of a prickle and that helps bring out some of the the ashy smoky character in the middle of the palate it's slightly oily there's a good bit of sweetness in it from the caramel too but overall it's quite dry on the malty side of things and there's a good bit of dryness from the hops too but it becomes a bit smoother around the front of the palate so overall this is another really quite interesting smoked beer it's it's very light and it's quite sessionable so it makes it a little bit quirky within the style and it's more of a peaty smokiness than a meaty smokiness in my opinion so if you've tried some of the scottish smoked beers you're probably going to enjoy this one if you've tried the the fenrir tadric tour which is one of the ones from borg Brookhus, that's a really interesting one go and check out my review on that this one actually comes in the same regard. The grassy and earthy flavours in this are very reminiscent of that. So yeah, if you like smoked beers then give this one a try. It's quite a light and quite sessionable one. More peaty than meaty I would say. But again, it's a very good one and it's always interesting to see the different interpretations of the style. So on the basis of this beer, I think I need to go and try some of the other Anarchy Brew Company beers. Hopefully I can try some of those. It'd be cool to try maybe an IPA or a double IPA as well as maybe a stout or something. One of the more common beer styles. But yeah, this is another really good brewery. I can see why people rate them so highly. So go and check out their beers. If you like smoked beers, check out this one. It's really interesting and quite sessionable. So I'm sure you guys will enjoy it. But as always, if you have tried the beer for yourself, let me know your own thoughts on it in the comment section below. I thank you for watching my beer reviews. Until the next time, please like, subscribe, share, all the usual YouTube stuff. I hope you've enjoyed it. Go and check out all the social media things and I'll catch you soon with more beer reviews. And there's still a couple to come in this kind of North of England mini-series. So I'll catch you soon with those and enjoy some good craft beers in the meantime. Slanja.